Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Yes, indeed, another day where the globe underneath our feet continues to spin as our planet itself circles around the sun. That vast flaming ball of plasma in the sky. Thumbs up for that. We are alive, those of us that are. Those of us that aren't, aren't, but thank you for tuning in to watch this. Now, if you are dead and watching, thank you. Thumbs up. Um, I hope I don't offend. Anyway, Shelton, Washington, Daily Weather Report. I can see sunlight on some of the leaves that are blowing in the wind outside. It did not rain yesterday, but oh boy, it threatened to when I first started to go out on my walkies. So I took my travel umbrella, but within five minutes it was blue sky. <laughs> so yay. But it was pretty windy yesterday all day. And now it's windy again now, but it's sunny, and, and that's that's good. Definitely a thumbs up. Hopefully it's not going to get too hot. Last summer was pretty mild for this area. Looks like it ain't going to be quite so mild this year. Thumbs up. I hear, like, my kitty digging around somewhere. So she's, she's here. She's just doing stuff. And on the pet's front, Gojira was, in fact, she is still active down in her nest, in her, in her little home down here. She's doing well. I picked up Dust Mop and was playing with him earlier. He's still doing well. Little Dr. Snurf, I keep wanting to say Thigmo, even though Thigmo died, but little Dr. Snurf down below. He's doing good. That spot on his back, 90% of the fur has grown back. He still has a spot right on his neck that is still not so good. I'm gonna keep treating that. Now when I say it's grown back, it hasn't grown back fully. It's still thinner and not fully grown out yet, but it's grown back and so that's good. Definitely a thumbs up, but he's very active. He's very, very active and that's a good thing now saber she usually just stays on that side of of her home and so i rarely get to see her and she doesn't do much she just stays inside of her nest and eats and, and forages and stuff so i pick her up when i can but she's she's doing well definitely a thumbs up they're all good and kitty's in the window she's watching the world go by definitely a thumbs up on that a good thing I did have a couple things written down on my topics list, but past that, I don't really have much to talk about. So I managed to fill up the time anyway. When I don't, I just cut it short. But I really like the performer Dorian Electra. I've mentioned this before in a previous video when I discovered Dorian Electra and was binge watching a fair number of music videos and such. Dorian Electra is gender fluid essentially born female but it depends on the day you know how you feel so thumbs up for that and so they do a lot of very very different types of music it's all good stuff it's all really good music if you didn't listen to the lyrics it's highly pop some of it is really a melodic but done in a way that's melodic and it's really cool but she they my sincere apologies they released the song bro i love you or sorry i love you i can't remember the exact title i'm upset with myself for misgendering now but they released the song and it's really really good it's a good song and it's funny at the same time it's about you know a weightlifter guy you know those those types that go out and they go hey bro let's go lift you even lift bro and it's all a song about you know it's like hey bro sorry but i love you you know i'm always thinking of you i love you bro but still no homo and it's like it made me laugh while being a good song and they do a lot of good things a lot of good songs there's that adam and steve and guy liner which is a song about hey you know the lyrics are hey i'm a guy but i like to glamorize so i gotta put on my guy liner for your eyes <laughs> and thumbs up i really like the stuff that they do Ugh, i could bite my tongue for misgendering 
but that's life. I'm human. I'm human. I made a mistake and I fixed it as best I could. Also, I might as well mention, I wanted to talk about this before with my humanized forms of my cosmic horrors. I'm not quite sure why I have a humanized form where I can... They're not really humanized, but you know, they're given personalities and such that you can relate to them on a level where you can't relate to them. It's like, you know, if, if Lovecraft, on top of doing all of his Cthulhu Mythos stories, also did a minor story called Little Cthulhu, where Cthulhu is running around and having adventures on Earth as a child. That wouldn't happen. And yet that's something I'm doing with the humanized versions, where they're not really doing that. I mean, everything is metaphors. All stories are metaphor anyway. So within the story, this is metaphor within metaphor. No, they aren't really doing this. But this is the best way to present it as if it were. Is it what's actually happening? No, but it's close. It's at a close approximation. So that's sort of why I do that. But one of the main reasons I bring that up, the, there's the main Cosmic horror, Amagaratsu, Mama Amagaratsu, who gave birth to all the others, the Angakira, her 12 children, the cosmic horror pantheon. They've got names, they've got personalities, most of them, some of them, I mean, one of them I and forgot the name of entirely from last year. I could go back in my videos and refind it, but I just came up with a different name because I didn't even have a personality for that one yet. And yet, I spend so much time on ones like Gotsi Ray and Tamakonoso, who runs and runs and runs with the other Gakiri. So it's, I spend a lot of time and then none on others. The reason I bring that up is, when you're a writer, basically every character is kind of you because it's all coming out of your head. You are expressing it. It's all through a filter of you. So every character is kind of you. But when you deliberately make a character you, that's different. And of my cosmic horrors, basically Gotsi Ray is, is like me when I was younger. Overconfident. Brash. <laughs> ready to do things you know so yeah i i bring that up mainly because there's also russian timing mentions that gotsi ray is his favorite and it's like well yeah gotsi ray is my favorite too i spend more time on that character than any of the others and yeah it's basically me so before i broke so much so yay <laughs> i just thought i'd mention <coughs> oh, that was nice and juicy. Cannabis cough. Thumbs up for that. Past that, though, I also wanted to mention that I did have therapy yesterday. Now, one of the things that makes me glad about the stuff that I'm able to do on my own with therapy, and it makes me kind of sad at the same time, because, well, let me go into this. My therapist is largely very, very pleased with my progress because I'm the kind of person that I go poking and prodding through my psyche and when I find a sore spot, I keep poking at it and I poke at it and I work at it until I find out why it's bugging me and then I do my best to start chunking it out and get rid of it or at least come to terms with it so that I can continue onward. A lot of people aren't at that stage and when they are it's painful and it is it's painful to look for that stuff and then to go crawling through it to try and figure out why it's hurting now so I've been pleased that most of the stuff I said I've been thinking about this or I'm doing this or what do you think about this he's like yeah and so I brought up with him because I'd had a revelation <laughs> when I'd mentioned before that I'd been eating a lot of Little Debbie snack cakes. 
but when you're a recovering alcoholic you crave sugars and it's better to indulge in the sugars than it is to get your sugars through alcohol and so i mentioned to him yes i am craving a lot of sugars i'm doing a lot of this i'm doing a lot of that i've been eating a lot of little libby snack cakes but i am aware of why i'm doing it i am limiting how i am doing it i am maintaining my exercise regime although i'm not walking as far i'm not walking to walmart because i right now i'm worried so i don't walk to walmart but i still make an extra one mile loop through southern shelton and i walk for like two or three miles in downtown shelton and then i walk back so I'm walking and I'm trying to eat as best I can even as my dentures break. So yes, I'm eating a lot of Little Debbie snack cakes. <laughs> but I'm aware of why I'm doing it and I'm trying to limit the damage. And when I'm this is all done and there's not as much threat of fight or flight that you can't do anything with, then I'll be able to just finish the step backward and go, Whew. And then I can get rid of that extra weight because I put on the extra weight, but I've kept myself from going further. I'm hovering right between like 197 and 205. I go, woo, 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 but I'm not going above it. I want to go lower and I just need to start walking all the way to Walmart again and no more Little Debbie. But as soon as this is primarily over, we'll get that done. Now, I'm worried about when this is going to be over. Because, after all, in Shelton, Washington, where I live now, when I go out walking, I never see anybody on the streets with a mask. And when I pass by stores, a lot of the people who are cashiers aren't even wearing masks anymore. And when I'm in stores where there are people, I've got my mask on and maybe one in 20 other people have their masks on. All of the, what's the word for that? All of the things that they have been doing to try and keep people safe are now off a wide open doors. Nobody's sterilizing carts. Nobody's doing anything special. It's just catch as catch can. Who cares? Business as normal in like safe way. So, I mean, we don't have a huge presence of it here in Mason County, but the last time I looked on the chart, you know, there were only 28 cases. This morning, when I looked at the chart for Shelton, Washington, Mason County, uh, 33. So it's here, and it's climbing, and everybody's just dropping precautions. Thank goodness, and thank everybody else out there who wears a mask when they're around people. Now, I do have to admit, when I'm just out walking, if I'm not going to be around other people, I don't have my mask on. Because I'm not around other people, I'm not threatening their lives i'm i carry a mask with me so that if i get around others it goes on but if i'm just out on my own and i'm not going to be around others yeah i admit i'm one of those people i don't i probably should but you know i'm admitting to being a human being and contradictory so thumbs up for that that's why I sort of called this whole thing of trying to take care of, you know, just social distancing and washing your hands and wearing a mask and the general public is all just performative theater. Nobody is really taking it serious. Even people that are trying to take it serious, me, I even refuse to wear the mask just when I'm outside my home unless I'm around people. So. Welcome to the human race. <laughs> Definitely a, a good thing. <coughs> <coughs> 
and I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left me a comment. Good comment, bad comment, a different comment. You took the time, you expended the calories. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that sort of thing. And even though I count an American sign language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, brain damage from alcohol, alcoholism, untreated ADHD, and more. I'm lucky I can remember anything at all. I'm getting better all the time, but I'm, I'm approaching my functional limit. Thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, let me call my Chrome. And we have Genu Squad, and I bet I'm nowhere close, but thank you. Michael Ola Depot, I bet I'm nowhere close, but thank you. Paul D. Bling, thumbs up. Sad Boy, greatly appreciated. <coughs> Excuse me. Vlasco60, I'd say thank you, but mm. Confused Owl29, greatly appreciate it. And Kathy Kiskat, good to see you in the comments. ScanFam851, thumbs up. Emmy, I don't know what's going on. Neither do I, but thank you very, very much. Jesus Lozano, greatly appreciate it. Aaron S, thumbs up and thank you very, very much. Seamus Williams, greatly appreciate it. Sebastian Ferris, yo. And then we have Russian Timing. Good to see you in the comments. Aces FN, thumbs up and thank you. Badind, bad end, bad end. I'm not quite sure, but thank you. Bull boy games. It's hard to, to see, but thank you very very much. Christopher Thomas, greatly appreciated. We have Bruno, thumbs up and thank you. Ollie B, greatly appreciated. Banana Rama, thumbs up and thank you. Colin now good to see you. We have a masked clan gaming. A fly just flew in through the window and right around by me. Thumbs up. Lirisu, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, looks like a bunch of I's and L's. I have no way to pronounce that. And then an X afterward. But thank you very, very much. Greatly, greatly appreciated. <coughs> uh, seasonal allergies, Canvas cough. I have to cough so much just to get my voice box cleared. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> anyway, though, thank you all so very, very much. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, and I smacked my elbow pretty hard there. Ow. <laughs> If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people that would be beautiful and awesome, thank you so very much. I'm able to pay my rent, eat food, and purchase pain medication because of these people. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you'd like to help me out but you don't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be very cool if you could check that out. And if you want to help me out but you don't want to send money, <coughs> Excuse me. I have an Amazon wish list link down below. Oh my god, Potato Tron. I need to put that phone on the list. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you could check out the Amazon wish list link, that, that would be very, very cool. Though. Now, don't feel obligated. I don't feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Kind of a cool hand motion there. Thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, I have this video here. I have the second half of another video for this channel. I still have to do those final things the, to finish up for my game channel. Not finishing up. I'm not going to let it die, but still, yeah. Anyway, though, I hope you have a great day today. I'm going to change the sign for tomorrow, and that'll be okay. But for today, please, 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 be safe. Uh, be safe. That, that's the best thing I can say. So take care. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing.